going, y'all? Sorry if my face is musty, but I just took a shower and the light is down. But what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to jump right in, so let's get started. So, we had made to one of our subscribers. I got a custom roll, even though it doesn't really show it up there. Right. So, this video is going to be a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to share my personal opinions about something. Um, so, firstly, we know villains, right? You know, those nasty little creatures that destroyed the good guys? Yeah, those ones. Um, here's a good example of one. So, this is um, a really interesting villain. His name is Fractal. And I know I've made a few references on mom once, um, maybe a few times, um, but still, um, this is a villain. <laughs> yeah, he's freaky. I said nothing. I said <laughs> Let's just go to the next one. And here's another one right here. Yeah, we all know this one is Adams. Um, basically... This is what this mother second could do. Okay, so now watch closely as I like play this. Basically, he killed someone. Okay? He he killed someone. And watch this. And basically <laughs> this is his number one quote that I'm Basically, um, in one of the episodes that he was in, um, I would not mention what episodes nor names of people, but, um, I would shout out to the animator. So, you know who you are, so, yeah. Um, I had done a reference called I See Cheese at Bryce at school, so, <laughs> he knows who he is by now, so. Um, I know how to sing this song. Um, don't worry about him, he is not a villain. Um, for years I've been so nice. Basically, that sounds like a fucking misfortune villain to me, so I am actually putting him on a list. Hold him tied to life's high wire. Basically, he's upset because he's been neglected. Basically, um, there's this uh, cute backstory. It's, um, uh, where is it? I know it was like, um, hold on, basically it was this episode right here, and y'all can actually see the preview of it, so, yeah, um, it has 3.1k views actually, so that's actually kind of, and it's the first episode of a season, so, and, and I did not mean to click that, and now there's a <laughs> You did not see it. Try to get it, try not to click on it. This is the one I was talking about. <laughs> I swear. When you see this face, don't tell me. Like, he. Like, don't tell me he looks like he's about to kill someone because he is, actually. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> But yeah, um, I am here to share my own opinion why this working, and there we go. Um, but yeah, my own personal opinion about Miss Fudge Villains is their definition. To be honest with you, Miss Fudge Villains to me are just villains that, um, uh, how should I say this? They get neglected in their childhood. Um, 
I would be happy to tell you Fractal's backstory. Um, I'm hoping the uncreator doesn't mind actually because <laughs> it's really not that surprising. Um, basically, misfortune villains usually like um, get misfortunes only because they've been either neglected, um, abandoned, or usually um, gotten rid of during their childhood by someone they know. And basically, it's usually their parents. Um, like um, Adams, um, his backstory is a spoiler, so I'm not really going to say it, but... <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing, but... It's just... Oh my god, I'm running out of stamina. Um, it's just really, really sad um, because um, that means that the um, person who's becoming misfortune has to suffer their whole entire life. Um, it's really not a good thing at all because <coughs> what happens is they start harming people and a whole bunch of stuff. So. Um, I am going to tell you about this story right now. Um, it, um, comes with a huge spoiler for the mystery. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, that was the Emerald to Oh! Okay. Alright, I'm coming to you. The Emerald Serpent. <sighs> Come here. Basically, okay. So what happened was, um, the animator is um, the creator of Life is Full of Phantoms. Basically, it's the Mystery Foxes series. Um, if you don't know who Mystery Fox is, um, I'm just basically gonna reveal him to y'all. Um, mentally, not um, in general, only because um. I'm just not going to reveal them by uh, recording them out yet. And I don't want to say any names right now, so... Um, okay, I'm going to make y'all a deal. Who, um... Uh, how do I... Okay, what is it going to be? Because I'm trying to think of something that y'all could do in order for me to reveal him when I create my series. Yes. Episode 1 is coming up as soon as I settle into my house. Um... I hope it's going to be in April, if not late April, but, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The, okay, hold on. Need to scroll down, yeah. That's my fox family. <laughs> Charlotte, you're hilarious. Um, so, basically, yeah. Um, so, um, in Life is Full of Panthers, according to, um, Mystery Fox, um, uh, Fractal was apparently abandoned, um, apparently Fractal and him are brothers in the series, and to explain a little bit more of that, um, they had a mother, her name was Scarletta, and basically when Fractal was born, she threw him in a well during birth, and to be honest with you, I just think that's kind of sad, because when he was just only a baby born like in a blanket like little blinky little blinky and he got and he got thrown there he got thrown in there and she didn't care she didn't care at all and i just uh i just feel ashamed like i just feel shame like only because fractal was a baby and he literally and so Earlier, late season two of Life is Full of Phantoms, we could see Mystery Fox getting ready for his coronation. Um, Fracto gets a little bit upset because Scarletta is ignoring him, like, all, like, the whole time while preparing for her son's coronation. Because basically, Mystery Fox is Fracto's older brother. Um, so yeah, um, he ends, Fracto ends up killing her. Um, and lies about ha knowing his ice powers. 
and so then what happened was oh so they got a cute little eight-year-old billy billy crenshaw um basically what happened did i not eat the i did not eat the oh i did not pick up the meat i did not Oy. i'm gonna die Ugh. Basically, what happens is fractal forces Billy Bob's father, and here's how he's done it. Here, let me, let me show y'all um a little bit of sound to it. Uh, I just need to pull up my YouTube, put my phone near the speaker of the microphone, and let y'all listen to it. Cause basically, it's just really, uh, really, really, really upsetting. Um, you're gonna be hearing both fractal and Billy, but okay. Devil of Ice. Basically, this happens in Devil of Ice. Oh, pff, ads. Come on. Seriously, I hate ads. Ads are ridiculous. Ads do it twice. Ugh. Come on, Mila, hurry up. Okay, I'm gonna put this in full volume for y'all, but this is apparently what happens in the episode. Um, hope you can hear it well. Dear Kingdom of Phasmia, when you wake up in the morning, a very interesting thing is gonna happen to all of you today. Look at that little child, sleeping peacefully. No clue of what's gonna happen to him today. Might as well wake him up, not before I get his scent first. Now all I want is to sniff your beanie, little angel. <sighs> ah, yes, the smell of youth. Now I'll know your scent whenever you're nearby, Billy Boy. Time to go get a Lip City scent. I smell a stuck-up phantom prince with a stuck-up mother. A mother that he decided to turn to ice and break into thousands of tiny pieces today. Uh, uh, Fracta! Belly, shh! You're gonna wake up a lip city. Fracta, I had a nightmare that my dad was chasing <laughs> after us again and he caught us. I'm sorry, Billy, this is just comedy to me, people. Quiet. It was Shut just a nightmare. And he shot a lipsity and drowned him in the purple river. <laughs> I know what'll cheer you up, Billy. Come with me. We're gonna go for a ride. To where? And can we bring a lipsity? A lip city had a long night at the coronation last night, Billy. Let him get his rest. Come with me. I'll give you a ride somewhere special. Somewhere ice tenuums are allowed to go anytime they want. The North Pole. Yes, you'll get to meet Santa Claus. <laughs> but it's May, Fracto. I haven't yeah, even written my Santa. wish list yet. Oh, but Santa knows. He told me you want a whole bunch of Phasmite comics. We're gonna go to the North Pole and tell him how good of a boy you've been. All right, Fracto. Don't forget to fasten your seatbelt, Billy. Off to the North Pole. Basically, he brings Billy to his father, not Santa Claus, which is kind of pretty stupid. Okay, Fracto, it's stupid. Oh, we go. Ugh, where are those idiots? Ugh, it's about time, those fools. Fracto, this isn't the North Pole, that's my dad over there. We have to hide. Get out of the car, Billy. Fracto, this isn't funny, you're putting us in real danger. Basically, that's what happens. And Billy ends up getting hurt by his father in the end. <laughs> Just kidding, actually, because there's Kremlin Nation. Um, if y'all want, I could put um, Kremlin Nation um, up in there, but you know what? I'm going to edit this video out um, so that the um, end credits could be Kremlin Nation because I really want y'all to listen to it so that y'all know how fractal feels because, I mean, that is just one misfortune villain right there. That is just one misfortune villain right there.
So the next one is Adams. Now, um, his backstory is a little bit of a spoiler, um, because it's a part of an episode in Blossom Magic Girls, so I am going to say that, um, it's the reason why, um, he flirts with Blossom. Basically, he's in love with her. <laughs> Basically that. So, if you're, like... This man is sucking right here, then I just feel kind of bad for you. Because seriously, that's just tough business right there. <coughs> I'm trying. I'm not dying. I swear. I swear. I'm not dying. I swear. I'm not dying. Um, but yeah, um I thank you all so much. Any fractal size powers on me. Uh, save me, fractal. <coughs> <coughs> I can't believe I'm doing this recording. I just feel so bad for y'all right now. <coughs> Basically, my cough <coughs> thing is getting worse. <coughs> Basically that, so I guess y'all can keep on watching this. Um I'm actually going to sing it. <coughs> <coughs> well I have this voice. <coughs> gonna zoom out a bit <coughs> and let's see how my voice holds up <coughs> so I'm gonna sing this as a karaoke sound <coughs> Sorry, I'm just really trying to sing right here, guys. <laughs> this is your combination, abomination. Your foolish ignorance has destroyed this nation. You had your eyes closed, but look what transpired. Hope, peace, and harmony have all expired. You reap what you sow, you will be coming back to retrieve the cloud they lack. Your heart is made of ice. Your passion burns like fire. For years I've been so nice. Holding tight to life's high wire. Now you gotta see what's gonna happen. Now that you've fallen into my trap, and you'll be the one begging to live. Make it by this offering all you can give. You tried, you cried, I lied, they died. You lost the fight, no more inside. You've taken what's rightfully mine, but you're weak and you got no spot. <coughs> 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 Watch as your nation falls in the darkness, evil girls. No one will hear. <coughs> ah. <coughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> my coffee voice is literally messing up my singing right now, so I'm just gonna put on Grandma Nation for y'all. It's a good song, I promise y'all. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. Man, I'm terribly, terribly sick right now, so. <coughs> oh. I need a cough drop.
Okay. So here's the song for y'all. <clears throat> and this could be the cover because it's a song. Mine, but you're weak and you've got no spine. 